records handling things wisely? Yes or no? Your opinions are welcome on this. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, streetchurch.ca is the one website to check out with uh, Pastor Art. Uh, the other website would be uh, concernedchristians.ca with uh, Jim Blake, uh, chairman of uh, Concerned Christians Canada. All right, uh, let's uh, take some more phone calls here. Jan uh, from Alberta. Hi, Jan. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul, I just wanted to make mention of um, the fact that I, I just really feel that art is in part doing something that is good and yet mm -hmm. in part also missing uh, a command of, of our God. Mm -hmm. And if I could refer you to Romans 13, where it calls us about submitting and teaching us to government, mm -hmm. let every soul be subject to governing authorities, mm -hmm. where there is no authority except from God, right. and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Mm -hmm. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. And, uh, and in all cases, live peaceably with all men, in, if at all possible. Right, Romans 12:18. Uh, yeah. As much as uh, it depends on you. Um, uh, well, okay. Um, so, what do you think? Uh, where do you think they've crossed the line? Then, uh, what, what would you say, uh, Street Church? Where would what should they do differently? Well, I just believe that um, the peaceable means are a little bit in question. Um, I see the hearts, and uh, I'm thankful for hearts that are willing and desirous be out there on the street with uh, people that are so needy and, and in part being so ignored, but it is important, um, we're told, that uh, there is a power and an appointment that has been given to uh, government and police and everyone who is above us in that realm, and that if we choose to uh, walk accordingly and and be peaceful in our means, uh, then I guess we end up winning more souls than losing them. All right, uh, I just really feel um, that more in the ways of even First Peter tells us that we are to be submissive. Um, okay. Uh, you, you know, and, and I, I, let's, just in the interest of time here, we're going to have to give our, our guests a chance to, to respond to that. Go ahead. Well, I will go back first um, to comment on this um, religious perspective. Wise men win souls, God says in his word. Second, Roman 13 is kind of like a cliché not to obey God's commandments because, yes, that's true that authorities come from God, but let's say Hitler. Hitler said that the Jews are not fit to live, and mm -hmm. he ordered to kill them. Well, mm -hmm. you're a Christian. Germans were a Christian nation. They all obeyed that word. Not all of them. There were some good, of course, that didn't. And um, so my question is, are we to obey evil governments, evil laws that say feeding homeless is a crime, you're not allowed to do it, preaching it's a crime? Because if we go that line, every man and a woman of the Bible broke that law. You got Daniel against the law of the king, praying. Okay. Of course, you got Peter, as the lady just mentioned, breaking so, so, the law. Well, maybe Jan is saying, uh, you know, no, keep on preaching, keep feeding the poor, but park your vehicle in a different spot. Is that what you're saying, Jan? Well, in a way, and, and that what we're, what we're ending up doing is that we are making or allowing the police actually to become our judge where we realize that God is our ultimate judge and we forfeit, um, you know, uh, the spiritual power when we are not in, in uh, acting in the authority that we are given. And the authority is actually to do it in peaceable means and to do it in the right way that is commendable and is glorifying to God. Mm. Jan, and thanks so much for that. Appreciate the input. Uh, email from Vivian here. She says, uh, support street ministry, and personally I'm so thankful for the freedom we have here. Um, she says she's wondering, did they obtain the necessary permission from si the city to do street ministry in these places and check out the bylaws first so they're not infringing on those laws? And when the police came and asked them to leave, it would seem to me that people would stop listening because of the disturbance and so to try and finish it is difficult as that disruption as the disruption puts a damper on everything i would think moving and obeying the police is something as christians we need to do okay you kind of get a couple can of I, can I address there, that but, i uh, think there's yeah. a really important uh, thing that we need to look at and that is that you know when you're looking at social change 
right? And, mm -hmm. and you have a climate that is, and, and you know, people are being fined and arrested for as little as reading from a Bible on a public sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. So let's put this in context a little bit, okay? For example, if you look at, uh, historically, you have Martin Luther King Jr. doing some things that a lot of people would think would be completely outside of the, of the realm of, of orthodox. Mm -hmm. and, and yet, because of the work that he did, he, and many, many people would give him credit for the fact that, that blacks now have rights today right. in North America. Mm -hmm. And yet, many people, including a, a great number of people from the church and leaders and so on within the church, were very negative towards his approach yeah. in terms of bringing you. those freedoms You're saying there's a greater forward. cause here. Sometimes some of these small laws are worth breaking in the sense that... And, and we're not suggesting, we're not cause. actually yeah. advocating Christian activism, but active Christianity, which says... <laughs> okay. That you, that you actually stand for what the Bible says yeah. to, to cry out for those who have no voice. You actually obey. Um, and yeah, you. I hear you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm getting down to the last 90 seconds yeah. here, I think, as well. I wanted to ask you, I mean, what happens if you lose the trial? Well, first of all, we, I don't believe we're going to lose it. Okay. You cannot lose with but, God. But, but if you were to lose, you'd continue preaching anyway? We continue to preach. We continue to feed the poor. It's not an option. It's You'll go to jail if necessary? I went there a few okay, times. There, it was uh, only there, a, a beautiful thing that happened out of it. So. Okay. Um, what would you like to see happen ideally in downtown Calgary? Let's say, for example, you win the case. What would you like to see change? I, I, I would really like Christians to stand up to the plate. It's our job okay. to take care of the poor. It's not the government's job. It's the church's job. We are to do what okay. we believe and preach. Okay. So you'd be okay do. with I mean, obviously, you'd like to have more churches support you. But you know, let's say, you know what, we don't agree with your style. But you'd be okay with them setting up their own Have downtown style. ministry. Do it your style. You're that's okay with it. that? That's it. See, Perfect. That's what I want to get across here as well. You know what? I don't agree with your style, Art. You know that. But I, at the same time, I say, you know what? If you're getting souls saved, may the Lord bless you and continue on with your work. Do it better. Uh, you know what I mean? That's right. right. Exactly. Do it better. Exactly. So uh, let's, uh, as you mentioned, Jim, look out for each other in the body of Christ. We may, may not all, all agree on the style and the way of things are done, but let's pray for each other. Let's uh, support each other. All right, let's not fight each other. Exactly. All right. That's uh, thanks right. so I'm much. That. Uh, all right. I'm into that. Uh, thank you so much for your input. I know we couldn't get to all your calls, uh, but here's your insight. Insight. Polygamy is not a religion. It's a cult. And if our government can understand that, they won't put it in. I would like to make a comment on polygamy. A caller on the family broadcast suggested that polygamists have a right to practice their beliefs and that we should leave them alone. I disagree with that. I feel it's a mistake to be so complacent about something so dangerous. I watched an interview on the 700 Club uh, with Irene Spencer. She wrote the book Secrets of Polygamy Revealed. And I was shocked to see the horrible abuse and neglect these women and their children have to live in. All right, leave us your comments on that comment line uh, if you couldn't get through today. On the ne next Insight, Pastor Craig Strickland joins us, author of A Rethinking Reason. Have you ever noticed that each denomination seems to ha think that you know, we have the 100% correct doctrine, right? We're like that, but that means 99% of us are wrong and 1% would be right. Maybe we need to rethink the way we think about those things. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Visit MiracleChannel.ca slash Insight to download the audio podcast of today's show. To order a DVD, call 1-866-719-4545 and request the program number.